Today I want to show you a few prompts I have been using for a while but I have not shared with anyone yet. So all of today's prompts are gonna be based around how you can improve your skills and learn faster. We have the audiobook prompt that easily turns your notes into voice and episodes on Spotify so you can listen to them on your phone. And we take a look at the quiz prompt that I found great for learning about new topics and a few more I think are very helpful. So let's just get started. The first prompt we are going to take a look at is the audiobook prompt. So here we're just going to start by asking ChatGPT about a topic. And here we can do it without or with context. That's up to you. And then we just go, what should I start learning about from the topic and topic equals. And here's going to be our topic, of course. And when we get that response back, just so great. I want you to write a concise audiobook summary with the most important things to know about your topic, of course. Then we're going to take that text, run it in 11 labs to get our voice. I'm going to show you all of this. Then we're going to go on to a free platform that's called Anchor FM and upload our mp3 and then that gets uploaded to Spotify so we can just use our phone to listen to that for free. So let's just head over to ChatGPT and execute those steps. So the first thing I'm just gonna do here is just go hello let's talk about machine learning. What should I start learning about from topic? So our topic is machine learning just click submit. So as you can see here, we get some suggestions of topics to get us started. So we have the fundamentals of machine learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, deep learning, and some model evaluation and optimization. I decided I want to know more about deep learning. So then I just go, great, I want you to write a concise audiobook summary with the most important things to know about topics. So topic equals deep learning, click submit. Yeah, and here we have a concise summary of deep learning. So what I want to do now is just copy all of this. And then we head over to 11 labs in the speech synthesis window. So you can just paste your text here. And we got to find a voice we want to use for our um, text. So let's just have a listen here. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our... You cannot find yourself by going into the past. You can find yourself by coming into the present. Well begun is half done. So I think I'm going to go with Bella here. I kind of like that one. Now it's just click on generate. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that involves training neural networks with multiple layers to learn from vast amounts of data. It has been successfully applied in various fields, including computer vision, speech recognition, natural language processing, and robotics. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I can just click download here. And this will be saved to an mp3 file. So now let's head over to anchor.fm. So here over at anchor.fm, if you don't have an account, of course, you will have to uh, sign up. But when you have signed up, it's very easy. You just have to create your podcast, of course. And then it's just click new episode, create an episode. Just click browse and pick your mp3 file, deep learning. Okay, good. So upload that. Deep learning is a type of machine learning that involves training neural... Yes, that's the one. Then just click save changes and we got to give an episode a name. So deep learning notes, just go my deep learning notes. And then it's just going to hit publish now. Episode published. Great. And you can click on your own episodes here. You can see I have did some yesterday. So now I have three different kind of notes here. And let's just head over to Spotify on my iPhone and see if we can find them. And here they are on my phone. So let's have a quick listen. Images of deep learning are its ability to automatically learn features from the data and its scalability. So I think this works kind of good if you just want to learn something on the train or on the go. If you're out walking, just listen to your notes and maybe you can learn something that way. So I think this is a great feature. The next prompt I wanted to show you is the quiz prompt. So here we, again, we're just going to ask about a topic so we can give context. We cannot give context. In this case, I'm going to give context and then we can just go... What should I start learning about topic if you want to go that? That is great. Can you give me a multiple choice quiz about topic? One question at a time and don't show the answer. And then you can just go, if you don't know it, give me a hint. Just go your, with your answer. And when you're finished, just go next quiz, please. So let's head over to ChatGPT and test this out. And here I just go, hello, following is the text in curly brackets I want to learn about. Just respond with dot 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 if you have read the text. And then I just go text equals. So I actually want to learn about the zombie fungi that inspired The Last of Us. Let's just let me just copy all of this article here. And then I just go back to ChatGPT, paste it in here behind text, and just click submit. So we get I have read the text, so that's good. Now we can move on to our next step. And then I just go, can you give me 
a multiple choice quiz about the text in curly brackets, only one and one question at a time, and don't show the answer? Sure, here is your first multiple choice question. So let's try that. In what way is Cordyceps portrayed in the TV show The Last of Us? Uh, as an orange tendril fungus? As a fungus that can incorrect and control humans, turning into mindless monsters. Yeah, isn't it that? I think so, so I'm gonna go with B. But before we go with B, let's just do... Give me a hint. In the TV show, The Last of Us Cordyceps is responsible for the apocalypse, okay? I'm still gonna go with B, so I'll go with B. That's correct. Nice. And then we can just go next uh, quiz, please. Here's your next question. What are some pur purported benefits of consuming Cordyceps? I have no idea. So let's just go give me a hint. Cordyceps is considered a tonic food and herbal medicine in East Asian cultures. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So I'm gonna go with B again. I'll go with B. That's correct. Cordyceps has been considered a tonic food and herbal medicine. Is yeah, purpose with energy increasing and immunity boosting and anti-inflammatory effects. Who would have known? So I think this is kind of funny because you can make this into like a family game about some topic that maybe there are no quizzes about like this fungus from The Last of Us. So yeah, I kind of like this prompt and it's really funny. So this could be like a family thing or like something you do with friends. The next prompt maybe you have already tested but I found this very helpful. So that is explaining advanced concept easy. So we're just gonna start with asking ChatGPT about an advanced subject maybe and then we're gonna explain the concept with analogies or a metaphor so i really like that and we have seen this popular explaining to like a fifth grader or high school student i also like layman terms so and finally we're just gonna great write a note in a format so i can copy them i kind of like this if you haven't tested this so i'm gonna show you that so let's just go back to chat gpt here i just want to start with hello i want you to talk about deep neural networks what is a deep neural network and what does it do so here we get a kind of it was not that uh, advanced answer but it's kind of technical so we want to make this a bit easier and then I just go explain the concept with an analogy. Okay, so here we get, sure, I can try to explain the concept of deep neural network with, with an analogy. Think of a deep neural network as a team of detectives who are trying to solve a complex case. Each detective represents a neuron in the network and they work together in a series of layers to analyze and process the evidence. In the first layer, the detective receives the raw data like fingerprints, footprints and witness statements. They each analyze the different aspects of the data and pass their findings to the next layer of detectives. So in the second layer, they take the results from the first layer and look for patterns and connections between the pieces of evidence. Yeah, and as the data moves through more layers, the detectives become more specialized in their analysis. You get the point. This can be a very helpful way to understand more advanced concepts. Now let's try to explain it like to uh, a fifth grader or in layman's terms. So I explain the concept to a fifth grader. So let's have a look here. You can give the box some pictures or words and we'll try to figure out what those pictures and words means. Box has a lot of layers inside it, like a cake. <laughs> Each layer does a different job by looking at the color of the picture or the shape of the letters. Yeah, this is good. So the more layers the box had, the better you can figure out what pictures or words mean. It's like having a big team of detectives who all work together to solve a mystery. That's why we call it a deep neural network. Okay, so that, that was not bad. I kind of like that. So you probably have been using this kind of prompts if you have been on ChatGPT for a while. Still, every time I use it, I'm kind of fascinated by easy it is to understand advanced concepts. 
So the final prompt I wanted to show you is the advanced notes prompt. So here we're just going to ask or copy our text into ChatGPT like we did before. And then I just want you to write an advanced concise notes in a structured format with a space between each note from the text that is optimized from learning. Great. Write the notes in a windowed format so I can copy them. So let's head over to ChatGPT and I can show you how this works. So here I also want to just go hello. Following is the text I want to learn about. Just respond with dot 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 if you have the text text equals so let's just grab that fungus article again just copy that paste it in here and hit submit i have read the text great now we can move on to the next step and that is going to be great i want you to write advanced concise notes in a structured format with space in fin that's optimized for learning okay yes these are some great notes actually i read over this and these are just perfect so that's basically everything we need to know about the cordyceps from that article and then i just go great write the notes with a space between them in a windowed format so i can copy them okay great so now we have our notes here now we can just click copy code right go to let's say a notepad just paste it in here so let's take a quick look here so we have cordyceps cannot infect humans or cause a zombie apocalypse edible and used medically for thousands of years so we got some good notes here from our article so this is just a nice way to get it in copy but of course you can just copy all of this too right if you really need to but i like to use this i think it's quite good but anyway i think that was it i hope this video gave you some inspiration and if you want to use the prompts i've used in this video sign up for my newsletter down below and you will get a free pdf with over 20 chat gpt prompts also, if you want to dive deeper into prompt engineering and generative AI, check out my membership below where we have over 35 members only videos now, I think. And also, don't forget to check out this video here. I think if you like this one, you will also like that. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.